Well, hey there. Remember this van? Well, my dad and I converted into a camper van. And guess what? I've been living in it now for four years. The van recently crossed over 140,000 miles. Mechanically, this 98 Astro van has held up very well with some maintenance and repairs. The camper van conversion itself has held up amazingly over these past four years. You can check out my build series playlist to see exactly how we converted this 98 Astro van into a camper van. Since this van and the build are holding up so well, I currently have no reason to build another camper van. So the dilemma is, what should I be making videos about? Well, I'm going to be making videos about my travel adventures, updates and improvements I make to the van, answers to common van life questions I hear all the time, and plus how you can earn money while on the road. But first, I'm in lovely Utah and I just started a five month long summer road trip. My hometown in Houston is way too hot in the summer, so I needed to get the heck out of there. So sit back and let me get you caught up on where I've been and what I've been doing the past few weeks. Also, stay tuned for upcoming travel videos on Utah and Colorado, plus truthful videos on what it's like to live the van life from a four-year vet. Before heading out on my summer road trip, some of my friends and I got together to say farewell. When I go to visit my dad, I always stop off at this San Gabriel River crossing just to watch the water flow. I love it. Since I arrived in town early, I figured why not take a look around Lake Georgetown and the dam. This little guy wasn't sure what to do about this humanoid walking around his territory. Hey look, my little buddy has a friend, or a relative. Well hello there, day one uh, of my summer road trip. I'm currently in Georgetown, Texas, and here is Lake Georgetown. And I'm currently walking across the, uh, the dam at Lake Georgetown and the San Gabriel River. Come here I've seen this uh, dam from the road a number of times but never walked across it so I figured let's check it out that's the road that I'm usually uh, traveling on okay so this looks like that is where they're letting the water out to the San Gabriel River lots of wildflowers in the area and other random flowers Yeah, that's a nice, pleasant sound, just the flow of the water coming out. So here along the San Gabriel River here, we have all the wildflowers growing. Very pretty. After heavy rains, Berry Creek is at a flood stage. As you can tell, I'm fascinated with water flow. After a two night visit with my dad and stepmom Nancy, I was off to see my cousin Bobby in Dallas, but first I had to stop off at the city of Troy, Texas. The city of Troy in Bell County has a population of just over 1,600 fine people. Hey there, Traveling Troy coming to you live from La Mesa, Texas, a wet, rainy, and cool La Mesa, Texas. I'm just now getting my uh, my camp set up, which means I just turned my key off and I got in the back. 
and I'm about to make some dinner. I think I'm just going to do some soup and crackers tonight because we got the rockets coming on and I got to get things set up for that, which means turn on my iPad and connect to YouTube TV. So anyways, go rockets. Let's crush them. After the long drive through Texas, I was finally entering New Mexico via Texaco, New Mexico. My first free overnight camp spot in New Mexico would be Bosque Redondo Park. This ended up being a really nice spot and I could have easily stayed for two or three nights. I already visited parts of New Mexico last year, but one thing I missed was the gravesite of Billy the Kid. Billy's tombstone was stolen twice, so after recovering it for a second time, they decided to shackle it down. Next, I was back on the road and soon entering Arizona via Springerville, Arizona. As I did last year as well, I stopped at the laundromat in Springerville and got all caught up on my laundry. That night, I stayed at Twin Arrows Casino, which is RV friendly. Plus, I had a great dinner inside the casino. Back on the road as I worked my way north to Utah. Here's a look at Marble Canyon in the Colorado River looking down from the Navajo Bridge. I spotted a group of raptors in the distance, so I zoomed in on them. After that, I was back on the road, and it wasn't long before I was crossing the Utah border. Now I've got a bunch of maps, and I'm ready to explore Utah for the next month or two. Hi there, thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, take a look at some of these other videos if you haven't seen them already. Thanks again for watching.